Hello, it's Tim Spector here of the Zoe COVID Symptom Study app, giving an update on vaccines this time because we're going to be talking more about them as uh, they become of real prime interest to get the proper data and you'll be getting our normal report on infections later in the week. Now, the good news is that more than 4 million vaccinations have been carried out and we've now got data from our EU loggers of over 100,000 people from all over the country telling us what's going on. And we're seeing that many places in the countries are, are, are leaping ahead. So uh, the northeast of the country seems to be far ahead in terms of vaccinations. Uh, Southwest is doing pretty well with London and the southeast lagging a bit behind. But uh, the country as a whole is doing uh, very well internationally. We're about number three or four in the rankings and hopefully we can keep it that way because vaccination is really important. The more people that get vaccinated, the harder it is for um, the disease to transmit and less pressure on the health service. And that's why uh, we're focusing uh, on the over 80s who are most vulnerable and of course healthcare workers who are generally at four times risk and hospitals, as we know, have been a big bed of infection in the past. We asked a question about vaccine hesitancy and over a million of you answered these questions. And interestingly, 95% of you were actually keen on a vaccination and about 5% were reluctant. And we, when we looked at these figures, we found that people uh, were in the reluctant category, tend to be more female, tend to live in London on the southeast, tend to be slightly younger, and also tend to come from uh, ethnic minorities. And it was interesting, as I was queuing up at St Thomas's yesterday for my vaccination, talking to some people who were very reluctant, very worried about having uh, a jab, were reassured uh, when they met other people who'd had their first one without any problems. Early data, we're going to hear more of this in another video, but uh, we are seeing, as expected, pain around the region and headaches as the commonest uh, symptom. But I myself uh, had it yesterday, so I'm now 24 hours afterwards, and so far the only um, effect I've had was a, is a sore arm, which was, for me, uh, a bit more painful than I had with my flu jab in October, but certainly nothing to put me off having a second one. And I certainly feel a lot safer now I've had this, this jab. And I, if I can get through the next few days without getting COVID, I'll feel much happier. Um, so we've launched our appeal uh, so it's great that we have 100,000 of you logging, but really do encourage others who are getting vaccinated to also log their data with us. Really important. This is the only real source of data linking symptoms with vaccine and working out how quickly people can become immune to the virus. It's also the only source of working out whether people's uh, extra effects they might have with headaches and feeling unwell are related to whether they have antibodies or previous COVID. So really vital data. So please help us spread the word as much as possible. And in the meanwhile, stay safe and keep logging. Thanks for your support.